Surfing Live from Hutchinson, Kansas. Well, I'm sitting here with a linguist. I had a linguist. no idea. <laughs> I, love I didn't that. know you were, but I didn't know that you were a wordsmith. <laughs> Call Jiggy right now. 267-22-Jiggy. Hey, Jiggy, what's happening, man? You want to be that uh, David Bowie song. Jiggy, play guitar, Jeff. It's a great name, man. Thanks so much for having me on the show. Presenting. I'm, I'm Mike Massey, and, uh, you know, you can catch me on Jiggy Jag TV and uh, see a few of my tricks up there. Thank you very much. Jiggy Jaguar. I never knew what freedom was until I saw you lose yours. <laughs> We are live here on our world famous Chiggy Jaguar radio broadcast, coast to coast, border to border on iHeartRadio and also AMFM247.com. Tune in, iTunes, and of course you can find us on Spotify as well. We're not getting the Joe Rogan type money, but I'm not being told what I can say and I'm not having to apologize to people either. So that's always a good thing. Uh, today on our big broadcast, we have some fabulous, fabulous guests. We're going to be talking to, hopefully, Olympia LaPointe. And uh, we have got Alan K. Patch at the bottom of the hour. Patches of history. We're going to be talking about the paranormal today. But before we do that, we go to the telephones. We've got a very, very eager first guest here on our big program. So... Let's go to the let's go to the phones. Uh, go ahead and give us a brief introduction on yourself, my friend. Well, Jiggy, which friend are you talking about? It sounds like you've got so many. Are you talking to me? Yes, indeed, I'm talking to you. You are very, very eager. Um, <laughs> you 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 called us before we even got on the air, and then you called us when we just got on the air. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. You seem to be eager. Give us a brief introduction. <laughs> Okay, well, Jiggy, I was on your show before, so I couldn't wait to get yes. back. My yes, name is indeed. Of each kind of us, and uh, I'm a three-time breast cancer survivor, and now I am actually writing a series of books with Sacred Stories Publishing, and the second book is out, Trappy Too Happy, Two Stories of Grit, Grace, and Love, and there's some paranormal stories in there, too, by the way. So uh, tell us about uh, this book and why you decided to write it. Because, you know, so many of us are going through crappy stuff right now. We're locked alone in our homes or worse. We're locked in our homes with someone we can't stand. <laughs> and we can't get out during this COVID. And so, you know, we decided to write a book. And we have uh, 30 authors in there. And the foreword was written by James Redfield, the author of The Celestine Prophecy. And uh, he says the book is all about the art of the comeback. We've all had crappy experiences, but how did we turn it into something happy? And that's the focus of this book. Fantastic. So uh, take me through the writing process for this book. Well, um, you know, we, we put the, the call out to authors around the world using social media, and we said, you know, have you ever had a day that was so crappy you just kind of wanted to flush it? Well, don't. Send it to us. We want to hear that story. And uh, we took all these amazing stories. We put them together in this book. And it just hit the Amazon number one bestsellers list for new releases. And we haven't really released it yet until October 6th. So we were thrilled uh, to have hit that, uh, that number one spot. We have got a tremendous guest with us today. She joins us live here on the telephone, Kathleen O'Keefe Canavos, and uh, she's with us today with Crappy to Happy, and uh, she joins us live here in our big program. So this book, what do you want readers to take away from your writing of this great book? We want readers to realize, number one, they're not alone if they're having one crappy experience after another. You know, it's kind of universal oneness. We all do. But there, no storm lasts forever, including this one that we're going through with COVID. It's not going to last. And so we look for the silver lining in these crappy moments, and um, that helps us see the sunlight of happy. And if you look at the book cover, it shows you this big red umbrella, and there's rain coming down, but you're seeing the first um, highlights of the sunlight shining on the umbrella. And so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to bring 
happiness to people's lives and show them, hey, look, you're not alone. Somebody else has gone through what you went through, and this is how they came out of it. It's not just about the sad stories. It's not just about the challenges. It's also about the art of the comeback. How did they get out of the crappy and into the happy? An amazing guest with us today. She joins us live here on our big broadcast here on iHeartRadio and also AMFM247.com. Tune in iTunes. And, of course, uh, you can find us on Spotify as well, JiggyJaguar.com, for more information. So this book, you, you've put a lot of time and effort into this book. Uh, tell us about some of the different mm-hmm. reviews and feedback you've gotten on the book so far. You know, the people that have read the book so far have given us tremendously positive feedback. Um, You know, I think one of the things that surprised them the most was the fact that so many people in this book didn't just focus on on the the crappy, like I said before. But, you you know, they, they went into detail on how they were able to um, make it through those challenging moments and and work further, you know, in, in life and then share the information in this book to help other people. And so one of the things that I talk about in this book in the end of the book, uh, to wrap it up, is how important laughter is. Uh, and how, you know, laughter is one of those emotions and and things that we do that's actually contagious. So what I talk about in that section of the book is how I had this really cool friend named Petronelle Cook, and she was a British woman, and she was a, an author and writer, and when I was going through my breast cancer all three times and had to go through the treatments and the surgeries and everything, she showed me, didn't teach me, but she showed me how she, when she got information from doctors that was not good, like if the doctors told her she was going blind, she would laugh about it. I mean, seriously, Jiggy, she would laugh about it. She'd say to me, oh, yeah, the doctors told me I'm going blind. And then she'd just do this belly laugh. And then she'd wiggle her fingers at me and say, but now I'm learning Braille while I can still see. And I remember thinking, that, that, you know, I'm, I'm worried for her sanity. But then I realized that while she was telling me this with laughter, I was laughing. Didn't even know why. And that's because laughter is contagious. And so if there's one thing that I could share with your audience, it's, Rely on your laughter. Laugh till it heals. Um, laughter is like, uh, it releases endorphins in our bodies. There are happy pills. And they keep us happy. And so no matter how crappy the message is, by laughing at it, you can start your trek toward happy. Well, I appreciate you making time for us today. Thanks for coming on our big broadcast and chatting with us. Uh, you have got a tremendous book here. How do people get the, get a hold of the book, my friend? 